All right, so we've got our first Rivian now over in the paint shop. And uh, this is gonna be the first one that we do for the channel. Cause you guys know, I had told you in uh, one of the last videos that we are now a certified Rivian repair facility. So we're gonna go ahead and shoot this one. We'll check the color. We'll see what we get for a color match. And now's when we'll start getting our library started for these Rivians. That way, when we have any problems, we'll have our spray out cards and each one we do, we'll get our colors verified. So let me show you what we're doing to this one. All right, so on this here vehicle, we did repair these sections of the roof. This here vehicle had some type of damage to it where the windshield was damaged, as well as the center section of the roof, which is a fiberglass painted part and then this here sunroof. So we did do both sides of the actual roof. And uh, I didn't show you guys that part of it because I knew that we were gonna be shooting the body of this thing. So we did that. If you want, check out my Instagram on that part of the job. But this is one of the SUV Rivians. And I'll tell you what, these are a very nice vehicle. You guys know I'm a fan of the grays. That's what I had on one of my Hellcats. So this here is what we're gonna be doing to this one. It had a small, repair down here on the quarter panel. And these are steel. This part of the vehicle is a steel uh, metal. So it's not an aluminum. And uh, we did have the glass guys remove the glass. And this was their first time doing a Rivian as well. So we showed you that on the video there. And also we had a repair on the lower part of the tailgate. And this is some sort of a composite. So this is like the Rogues where the inner and the outer is actually one piece glued together. So. You got to take that in consideration when you're masking them off, not to get anything on the inside of these, being you cannot separate them. So we're going to go ahead and get these two panels prepped out and in the booth. We'll get our color checked out and that way we can see what we got here for these Rivians. All right, so now we're prepping out the quarter panel and we're doing our normal red scuff pad with our waterborne cleaner, hitting the edges and getting the panel cleaned up. But as I was doing this, I noticed there was a hard tape line around the quarter panel. And then I noticed the color looked a little bit yellow. So not sure why this was done this way or where it was done, but I noticed it definitely had been painted. So we're doing our normal prep with our block 400 with the Fest tool. And then we move into our DA with the 600 to refine the scratches from the block. Once we get that handled, we move into our 800 DA with the soft pad, hit that, get it all sanded down nicely. And then we go with one more final step, and that's the Sky Kovax 600 grit all around the edges and get one nice uniform finish. That way everything is uniform and ready to go. So now we've got my man Dustin removing the bracket there that I seen. I wanted to get all the way down underneath. That way we could back tape and have no lines like the last guy did. So we're trying to get it right. And now we're prepping out the other part of the job here the same way we did that. All right, so we've got it all prepped out and now we'll get the paint coat out of this one before we get it in the booth. So I wanted to show you guys the handles on these. Definitely a different design. I guess they pop out when the car is unlocked and then when it locks, they close up. So inside the jam here is where the paint coat is on the Rivian. It's down here and it's very small. So what I like to do normally is go ahead and take a shot of the actual paint coat. That way I can actually get it blown up with my screen and that way i can get a good look at what it is so we'll put that in the computer and we'll get going on this job all right so i wanted to show you guys the key fob on these a different design kind of outdoorsy looking but check out how it closes up once you lock it the handle shut and you'll hear this wild sound you guys hear that noise that's the sound of it when it locks so we unlock it and then the handles pop out and the mirrors deploy so Definitely a cool setup. And uh, let's get this thing in the booth. All right, so now that we've got the vehicle in here, we'll go ahead and get it taped up. And uh, we're gonna be doing our normal steps just like we did on the prep work on these. You guys know we do it one way and we get better as we go. That way we get faster at it. So I want you guys to get a procedure and a routine on how you prep things, how you get things taped and in the booth and then just get faster on it as you go and better. So you guys seen here in the video there, I showed you him removing that. That way we can get a nice clean tape line, back tape and all this here and not doing the hard line like the last guy did. So I'm not sure if that was a factory or if that was a shop that did this last time, but we're gonna try to get it clean back up and make it look nice. So we'll go ahead and mask it up and then we'll get into the painting and the mixing of the paint.
All right, so now we'll put in our code and that is EXP009. There you see it. And it's the uh, Rivium 2021 Limestone. Let's go ahead and see what we got. And uh, it looks like we only have a prime with no chips. So we're gonna be doing our own documentation on these colors being they do not have any chips or specials for them. So now's your time to get your spray outs dialed in that way you have them for the next ones all right so now we'll go ahead and get our color mixed up we'll do our spray out card as we're doing this one that way we have it for the next time and if we have to tint it we will so i did notice that the color on the outside looked a little yellow to the actual jam so i'm not sure if that's a coverage thing or if it's just from the respray or what so like i said this is new to us so we got to get it dialed in and we're going to be starting from ground zero so let's go get this sealed up we'll mix our paint and we'll start shooting it All right, so now that we've got the color mixed up, we're gonna go ahead and apply a coat to the vehicle as well as the spray out card. That way we can check it. But in the meantime, we don't have anything else to go with. So we're gonna go ahead and put down a coat. That way we have something drying on the vehicle. Like I said, if we got a tenant, we will. So let's do it. All right, so now we'll check our card and I showed you guys, that's one of the other reasons I like the Luma light and the gun is because you can remove the light from the gun and bring it over to where you're at to check it. So we're gonna go ahead now and check our spray out card. Even though this is not cleared, I wanna check it because this is not really a heavy metallic color. And I can see already that this is too blue. This is definitely yellower. And I'm not sure if they actually painted this side of the vehicle as well. So I was just focused on the quarter panel but this is too blue, I can definitely tell that. So we're gonna go ahead now and get this thing a little bit yellower and I'm gonna show you guys what toner that I like to use to do this. All right, so what we are gonna add to this one is gonna be the Trace Yellow. That is the 423 in the actual PPG line. So there's a lot of these pukey yellowy colors in the toners on any mixing bank. This is the one that I like to use, especially the one that says Trace on it because that's gonna be a little bit with a transparency to it. So that way it's not gonna be that strong. It's just gonna give it that nice little effect that we need. So we're gonna add in this one here by the look of the way that that looks to me, I'm gonna go ahead and put in 1.5 grams of the trace yellow and see what that does to it. All right, so now that we have our spray out card done with our tinted area, I want to show you guys here. Right here is a line of where it's the tinted, and here is the original where you can see it's a lot darker, especially from where I'm at with this angle. So I don't know what you guys can see there. Hopefully you can see the darker side here as well as the lighter side there where we tinted it and got it yellower. So let's bring it over to the doors now and see what it looks like. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and tear off a little bit of this here tailgate that way we can check it to this area because this is going to be the area that is going to be closest to what we're doing so if you guys can see there it's definitely a lot yellower now that we tinted it with that yellow so if we were to go with the bluer you could see there it looks blue and then when you go here you can see it has more of the yellowy tone to it so that's what we needed and that 1.5 will definitely swing it around like it did and uh, I like that 423. It really does a good job of tinting these colors. So now that we got our color verified, we're gonna go ahead and clear our card before we do this. That way we double check it to see if it's on the money. And then we're gonna go ahead and get this thing finished up.
All right, so we've got our spray out card now for next time. You guys see, I had a bunch of gibberish written on there. I know what that is, as well as I'm sure when you guys do a card, you know what you do to that card. So we put down that we put in 1.5 extra grams of the 423 Trace Yellow on an eight ounce mix. So now next time we know we have prime on the bottom and we have our tinted color on top and we'll be able to use this now that we're gonna be doing the Rivian. So take the time to get your spray out cars because it's only gonna make you more money in the end. In the beginning, it may take you time to get them dialed in, but once you have the colors right, you'll be able to move through those jobs that much faster. So let's go ahead and get this thing cleared up. So that was the first Rivian at the shop and uh, it won't be the last, I can guarantee you that. We've got a lot more of these things scheduled in and uh, you guys are gonna be seeing a lot more of them. So that's what you wanna do when you get a new manufacturer is especially when they don't have any spray out cards, you're gonna be the one making them. So get them dialed in as you do your job, as you do each color, make a card. That way every time you have a new one come in, you have a new card and you'll have more of the actual verified colors that you can use from the day to day on them so we got another 46v it doesn't stop guys this one is the whole side plus the hood the front bumper and uh, we stripped the whole hood down on this one to bare metal that way it didn't have any more chips on it so there's the rest of the parts there we've got a new bumper coming and uh, we'll be doing that one so check me out on instagram on car candy man to see more of the 46v coming your way so Today we use the Luma guns. You guys know I'm a big fan of them. We use the uh, both the base gun and the clear gun. And especially on that down low area there, you can see with the light very well. You guys seen that. So I hope you guys liked it. Everything will be in the description below and we'll see you guys on the next one.